All right, today we got another Okamoto for you. This is a 12 by 24 DX uh, with an over the wheel dresser and a nice cooling system over here. Looks like it's got a uh, magnetic separator and just uh, some baffles. What? Uh, so this has a uh, 12 inch by 24 inch chuck and takes, I'm pretty sure, a 14 inch diameter wheel. Uh, no, excuse me, a 12 inch diameter wheel. It says so right up here, 12 by 2 and it has a five inch bore on the inside. It's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase, and it's got uh, a couple of different grinding programs. It's got surface grinding program, and it's got a plunge grinding program, excuse me. And um, you have spark out or, or stroke counter. Uh, after you get done grinding, it'll make so many empty passes and then uh, park. Uh, you also have a wrap it up and down. You have a vertical travel of the wheel slide with the manual pulse generator. Uh, you could use this as a readout. Well, it is a readout. It also has the, the cross feed, the, the, the uh, saddle readout. I move my saddle in and out. Now the table could be moved by hand if you had to for whatever reason. This is a nice, uh, I believe this is a Walker chuck on here, uh, very fine pole division, an AXM style. Um, controls are down here for your dresser, for your table speed, for your cross feed, and for your step amount. So over here we're going to head start it up. It's the hydraulics. That's the grinding wheel. Over here you start the table going. Now it's going to travel to whatever these stops are set to. For the cross feed to work, you've got to have this pulled out. And this needs to be down here for the cross feed. And then you uh, have to open this up a little bit and give it a direction. Okay. So there you have your cross feed traveling. And you can see that here. Now there's a dog, set of dogs over here on the left side that you adjust uh, the length of this stroke. You can also come over here and, and change it anytime you want, start coming back towards you. And when you put it back in the center, it's going to reverse with the stop. So you can kind of override it. Um, the amount of the step is adjusted here. Some people want a very, very tiny, tiny, slow step. Other people want a larger step. That's adjusted here. You can also have this in a continuous moving uh, kind of grind where the table and saddle are constantly moving together. Some grinding applications, uh, some people uh, grind like this. Or you can shut the cross feed off by putting it right here in the center. So it's got a couple of different grinding programs, uh, plunge grinding program. Once I go from the surface grinding to the plunge, it immediately stops the table, the saddle. Um, you've got buttons here for your rapid up and down of the grinding wheel. You've got buttons here that you can set this to zero, and now you can come down with your wheel and slowly touch your workpiece. You have different uh, increments there, different feed rates, all the way down to just uh, each click here is uh, about uh, 10 millionths, so it's pretty fine. Uh, then you have your setting where you would go here and say, I want to take, uh, uh, let's say, five thousandths off of this piece. Um, if everything is set correctly, uh, I just have to start the size, and you'll see that it'll take each pass of the table a thousandths off. Now, this is a very simplified program, but easy for the video. But each time it takes a thousandths off. So it gets down to zero. Then it'll do a number of spark out, spark out passes, whatever you have set over here. Okay. So the other type of plunge it can do is the plunge number one, where again, you've got to go to edit and put some kind of number in here. Let's put the five back in. Uh, and we start the table with this. The feed's not going to start until I go down into this, what they call auto-sizing. 
or you know automatic. Now we're only going to feed on one side of the chuck. It has to come all the way back to this side. And that's what the arrow shows you. This is taking a lot less material off, but it's a lot less pressure on the grinding wheel. In a lot of cases, you have to grind like this, so you have that option. There's also a fine feed that can be thrown in here. You can grind down to a couple of tenths and then start feeding uh, you know, the last couple of uh, passes at a, a lesser value. So those are the two plunge grinding, and then the machine stops when it's done. All right, so then there's the surface grind, which is traverse over here. That's going to allow this, the cross slide to work. Again, we want to go to the stock removal setting, and put a value in here of, let's say, two, two thousandths, because um, this takes a lot longer. Now, once I start this, we're going to have the cross feed going. If I speed this up a little. So each time the cross feed reverses, now, once I start the cycle down here, it's going to jump down by the 1,000s. So at the rear or at the front of the magnet, you'll feed down when it gets there. It's a nice machine. This is the original paint. These covers are really nice. Uh, the dresser looks really nice. We'll show you that in a minute. All right, so now we're reversing the saddle because we got to the, the stop over here. Now we fed down the 1,000s. We've got 1,000s left to go, and then it's going to do a number of empty spark out passes. So that's the Okamoto 1224DX. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to show you the dresser up here. Uh, so down here is your control. Uh, we bring it out. And there's a knob in the center down here to slow down that speed or increase it. And then you go back. And when you go back, it automatically advances for the next dress. So we come out. It's adjustable up here. It's got these neural knobs that you have to adjust. And when it goes back in, It'll advance the diamond, and you can set that to be one, two, three. You have to see what it actually does, but so that's the idea of that. That works pretty nice. So that's it. That's everything. Thank you very much.